If for any crazy reasons you guys don't have proper bar tools and only have, for example, this, but you still need to make proper cocktails at your home or if at your friend's house, here, what you can use instead of professional bar tools. For example, if you don't have a jigger and you don't know how to pour accurately from bottle, which is actually really easy and you guys should learn it, here's what you can use. Uh, most likely, you have a measuring cup. So this one actually starts from two ounces. Let's measure it really quick. Two ounces. Let's say we're gonna make a Rob Roy. We're gonna pour two ounces of whiskey. Since measuring cup starts uh, measuring from two ounces, you simply can use a tablespoon. I'm gonna take red vermouth. Three tablespoon, it will be exactly three quarters. Two and three. You didn't need to measure Angostura, so we're just gonna do one, two, put one piece of ice, or you can actually put just a regular ice. You're supposed to stir it with a bar spoon in your mixing glass, but we're just gonna make it in a serving glass. If you don't have a bar spoon, here's what you can use instead. We're just simply gonna take a chopstick. Well, we, we didn't buy this. We actually took it from the grocery store and use it as a bar spoon. Or you can also just uh, take the same uh, uh, tablespoon and, and just stir it like this. But uh, I just think it's much more uh, useful to use it. But I just think it's much more useful to use a chopstick. See? Cheers. It's just a uh, missing cherry, but I personally don't like it. It's really convenient if you guys have three piece uh, cobbler shaker. But what if you simply don't have it around and girls waiting for drinks? Simply can just use a mason jar or just a bottle of water. See, you easily can shake them like this and it works exactly just like shaker. After you shake it, if it's a simple drink, you can just uh, cover it with the same lid and um, hold ice like this and can strain it. So look, just go slow, don't rush. Since it's not a uh, real shaker, so... <laughs> See, it works exactly the same. But if you made a drink that you possibly will need to use strainer, you could simply use this uh, strainer for tea, like we use that infuser. And look how it works. So. <laughs> Bam, and there you have it. All these guys, of course, in case of emergency, and again, if you just came to someone's house and they have absolutely nothing but alcohol and you can totally improvise and make it work. You don't have to buy expensive tools. For example, this plastic shaker, like uh, it works exactly the same, just like this one, and it costs just like a few dollars. So you can easily find, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And in the next video, I also will show to you two different bar sets for like $10 or so. Uh, please subscribe if you want to watch those videos. Guys, thank you for staying until the end. Give me a like like this. So I will just see you in a few days. Yes, you heard me right. Not next week. I will see you in just a few days with a new video.